Anthony Joshua has warned Dylan White that the rematch would be one-sided. I'm going to quote AJ directly here. He said, I know he's been chasing a world title shot. I offered him a world title shot last year in April. He refused it. Maybe he wants his hand on the WBC. But if me and Tyson Fury fight, then I know he didn't want to fight me last year. But he'll definitely have to fight me this time if he wants his hands on the WBC belt. Once I've beaten Tyson Fury, Dylan White can come and get this work as well. It won't be that good. It will be one-sided. Yeah, I think line them all up. You know what it is with me. You look through my resume. I take them all on. I will be a well-respected heavyweight in the division, knowing that I never ducked a challenge. But Usek, Dylan White, Fury Wilder, they're all on my hit list for sure. He's a WBO mandatory challenger. And if Dylan didn't step up, Fury didn't step up, I would take on Usek without a shadow of a doubt. All right, AJ talking tough. I like it. <laughs> I know it's not his style and I'm not expecting him to be uh, mouthing off all the time and that kind of business, but he, see, he sounds very confident. I mean, this is more overtly confident than AJ has sounded for a very, very long time. You know, he's been the statesman and trying to be politically correct and all this kind of business so he can keep up his sponsorships and be a role model and stay humble and all that business. But here he's really saying, look, I would destroy Dylan White in a rematch. And he's got every right to say that because he did knock him out first time around. Doesn't mean it would be the same second time, but he's got a right to say it because he did knock him out first time. But listen to what he's saying with regards to Tyson Fury. He says, once I've beaten Tyson Fury, Dylan White can come get this work as well. But it'll be one-sided. And he says, Dylan didn't want to fight him before, but once I become WBC champion, he'll have no other route to go down than through me if he wants a title shot. So I like the confidence. And in terms of, you know, what he's talking about with regards to taking on all comers, yeah, his resume does show that. Now, some people are going to say, oh, loads of fighters are talking tough now because the boxing season is on ice. It's been frozen. So while nobody can fight, everybody's calling everybody out. That just shows nothing really. It's just hype talk. Why aren't they talking that confidently when the boxing season uh, was still in full swing? Well, okay, I take that on board. But again, if you look at AJ's resume, if you look at the fights he's tried to make, I would say he's always been keen on unifying the division, becoming undisputed. So yeah, I, but I do like the overt confidence that AJ is showing, talking about one-sided fights and all that kind of business. Look, going into a Dylan White rematch, I think it will be a big mistake of AJ to, to truly believe it will be one-sided. A big mistake. It could be Andy Ruiz all over again if he truly believed in his heart is one-sided. He needs to go in there and give Dylan White the maximum respect. Uh, but if this is just him flexing his you know, muscles in the sense that he's showing he's confident and he feels confident, all that kind of stuff, and he just wants to show Dylan White that he's still that guy, <laughs> the guy who left him slumped on the canvas in the seventh all those years ago, then I get it. You know, but really and truly, if these fights do get made, you know, the Tyson Furies, the Dylan Whites, etc., the Deontay Wilders, he's going to need to be real professional every single time against all of them because they're all tough fights, particularly Tyson Fury. I mean, AJ's probably going to be an underdog in the Fury fight. And even the Usek fight is real tough. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about AJ's confidence here. Do you believe him? Do you think he's trying to talk himself confident? Do you think it's just hype talk? Uh, do you think he really feels that way? Do you think the Dylan White rematch would be one-sided? Now, I do have to say, let's be real, Dylan White could have taken the AJ fight. Dylan White says the terms weren't right for that AJ rematch, but he could have taken it. And he has shown far more willingness to go the WBC route, despite the fact the WBC have given him the runaround. He, he seemed far more confident of going down that route than going down the AJ route. He says... Nobody wants to give him a title shot, but AJ did give him a title shot. Let's be real. I personally think as tough as Dylan White is, and he's a very tough man, he's still got demons from that first AJ fight. You know, that kind of knockout defeat 
it's difficult to shake off. It's something that a fighter will think about, you know, when he's alone, when he's in bed at night, he'll think about moments like that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out.